it okay? All ready to go. Your radiator was a little bit too far gone to solder when I pulled it out. I got lucky. I dug you up a good used one. Great. So it's only uh, 97.54. Oh. No. Hey, could have been worse. Yeah, but I don't have that much. Uh, but I will later this afternoon. I'm going to court to get some back child support money from my ex-husband. No problem. We're over the six. No, but I need the car to get to court. Um, couldn't I give you this much now and then the rest later? See, uh, here. <laughs> hey, here. if it was up to me, but, well, it's a chain, see? Uh, like a fried chicken franchise or something. If I break the rules, I, I get fired. I'm sorry. <laughs> A lifetime made for fools So I'm back on the line once again Then they leave it down and out Struggling like a mule But I'm hanging on in this town till the end Bosses run me over Like an old stray on the road And they never look back on the way Just remember, sweetie, you better be back here by 11 o'clock and no excuses. Yes, yes sir. I hope you understand what quality control means. Remember what I told you about the side pipes. Now, don't drag them on a speed bump. And when you park, make sure you park okay, someplace where somebody okay. doesn't open the car door. Gee, is it R for race? Don't worry, will you? You mean, don't worry. You know how much money I got in this thing? And not counting my own personal labor. I do know how to drive. <laughs> yeah, then what's your heap doing in the shop? Hmm? Just be careful, okay? Yeah, yeah. I promise. Okay. How about tonight, can you make it? Yeah, I don't know. Yes, you could come over. And do what? Sit there with your kid there in the Please, trailer and watch TV? Please, Randy. I mean, if I'm we'll... late, they're going to let him go and call the next case. Please. Okay. Tonight, okay? Yeah. Careful. Yeah. gunk on your face. I guess I better go now. Will you get in the car, please? We are late. Your father saw you like that. Who is that? Oh, uh, Lori. She and her folks just moved into the next row. Oh, the one with the motorcycle and the pickup and the baby at night? Yeah. How old is she? Same as me. Twelve. Why? Well, there's twelve and there's twelve, you know. Is that you? I don't believe it. The minute I saw you, I said to myself, who's that movie star? Uh, you miss me a little? Yeah. Uh, let me look at you. And. You know, I meant being on the road and all. I wanted to come and see you. Only 
You got that portable trampoline I sent you, didn't you? Huh? How do you like that? Patience, dedication, huh? That's the secret. What trampoline? The one I sent you. I didn't get any trampoline. Oh. I sent it from South Dakota, from the fair at Bismarck. Yeah? Same time I sent you that colored postcard of me in my performing costume. Probably got lost in the mail somewhere. I'm going to check on that. Don't you worry. Oh, it's okay, Dad. It'll probably show up. Uh, Lloyd. I'll be right there, Mavis, honey. Can I sit down now? Yeah. I, I didn't know. Maybe you'd want to meet her. I don't. I thought you were sitting with me, Lloyd. Sure, honey, sure. Don't let me keep you. What makes you think you could, Lloyd? That's the name Mavis thought up for me. For engagements, you know, because more, it's more catchy. Lloyd Lissick. <laughs> Maybe that's why we couldn't find you. <laughs> well, you certainly didn't have to send deputies out with warrants to my sister's place like that. <laughs> that's where Mavis is going to stay, at her sister's, till it happens. Show everyone. Lissick! You're next. Come on, baby. I guess that's still. Us. Edward James Lissick, respondent. Yes, sir. You are, you are? Well, come forward, please. Ellen Marie Lissick, petitioner. Please answer. Yeah, uh, yes, sir. That's me. Is this the child in question? Yes, sir. Well, come forward. You're perfectly well cared for. Oh, yes, yeah, sure. against me, is it? Are you being sarcastic with the court? No, uh, sir. I just, well, I do everything I can to take good care of her. Why, well, I'm not the one that's on trial. No one is on trial. This is a contempt hearing. Mr. Lissick, the record shows that you're seven months behind in child support payments that were ordered by the court. What explanation do you have? Well, uh, just one thing after another, I guess. Uh, I had, I, I got married again, and, uh, uh, I, I, like I told the attorneys, I'm out of the state a lot, working on the road. As a salesman? Yes, sir, some, uh, but I'm also in the entertainment profession, kind of a MC host, like, uh, service, clubs and, and uh, store openings and uh, uh, country fairs like that. Just a couple of seasons ago, I hosted the uh, KDOT Country Rama, KDOT. You probably remember, but I used a different name. I, I mean, in, in the show. Are you employed now? No, sir. Uh, not exactly now. Not, not right this moment. But a real good prospect. Uh, 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 in, a friend in Arizona, out of real estate, you have investments or some other source of income? No, sir. No, not a thing. Mr. Lissick, you understand you're under continuing contempt of a court order. Any misstatement of fact you make in this court would compound that. This is it, sir. It's all I got. I assume the district attorney's office investigated this? Yes, Your Honor, we have. I see your check of Mr. Lissick shows no bank account or other real property and no continuing source of income that you were able to uncover. Well, I'm sorry, Mrs. Lissick, but obviously the court cannot force your husband to pay money that just, uh, just simply doesn't exist. Well, there must be some money somewhere. Of course, if you have proof of assets that you can present to the court, I could remand him to prison. If that's what you'd want. That wouldn't do any good. Putting him in jail wouldn't get my car back. Right? You're waiving further action? Yeah. Just 
dismissed without prejudice. Next case. Just do like your mom said, why don't you? You're not my father. You bet I ain't, and I can prove it if I have to. Hey. Well, why should I take orders from you? Just remember the uh, gym tryouts? You promise? If you do what you're told. Okay. See how that works? I love this car. Cause it kills me when never she cries. And the mud fights and play goes alongside our life. If it did that, I think I might die. No, I couldn't stand alone. Tim, like this. It's worse than being at home. You know what? You know what that sister-in-law of mine is doing now? She's putting up signs around. Don't do this. Don't do that. I'm paying room and board. Damn, it's like living in barracks. It's like a subway in here. Hi, I didn't know you. You've been there. Where? New York. No, Chicago. Same thing. Hey, hey, man, how's it going? What's that? <laughs> One of them's black. So what? Everybody at that plant's cracker hits up you and me. And that one other guy. What other guy? I haven't seen him yet either. <laughs> he must work the night shift. <laughs> Idaho. Well, that's the place I've been reading about it. You know they don't have any factories up there? So there's no cracker heads, and that's exactly where I'm hidden. Where? What? I just told you, Idaho. Oh, Idaho. Tell me about Idaho. Well, I never have really seen any. Just pictures. Boy, it's pretty. Lots of mountains, streams, blue skies. You can just tell. It's... Well, it kind of looks like... Remember last year when I drove you and came up to the pass? Remember after the first time? It's kind of like that, except more. 
beautiful nice day. Why don't we do more like that, Lily? Really? Come on, let's do it. Take me there now. Come on, well, yeah. Come on. Take me to Paris, France. Paris, France. Dad, you're crazy. No, no, I'm not. Nice. I'm trying to have a good time and forget things like you said. Maybe. Why don't you just kind of take it easy on that stuff, huh? No, I like it. It makes me feel good. Makes me feel tingly. These <laughs> women can't drink. It's physical. Oh. I suppose all you men are so spiritual. Maybe you have just about too much of that beer. Oh, don't do that, please. You try to do it. Just, what are you doing? I like it. Get everybody looking at you. Looking at you. Are you are you ashamed to be with me because I'm a little bit older than you are? Is that no, what that is? No, no. Well, stop it. Lots of little girls. I can oh well, then just have them. Why don't you just take them? There's three over there. They just don't happen to have what you got. What do I got? Well, as long as you know. Just a secret. I have a pink lady. Double. Oh. Is that spiritual enough for you? No, we're leaving. Come on. No, come on. I want to stay and have a good time. That's exactly what I have in mind. Come on. No, I want to stay. Come on. Come on. Don't. Wait a second. Here. I think I got extra money to spend on a fancy motel. Why don't you loan me for a couple of pictures hey, of beer? Hey, you don't. Who said anything about that? She needs. She needs a man around to smack her behind when she gets smart. I didn't know your silly old car. I can take care of my own daughter. I don't need someone to tell me how to do it. Well, good. Because it ain't gonna be me. Uh, tell him. Tell him. I'll, I'll put you to sleep. Come out here. Tell him. You're, tell him you're sorry. Tell him. All right. I'm Why did you do that? Why did you do that? I don't know. I just did, and I don't care. I don't even care if he doesn't pay for the gymnastics trials. If that's the only way you can get money, I don't want it. Say that, Kim. That's not. 
You don't believe that. You don't mean that. Are you Mr. Kleinschmidt, the assembly line foreman? Albert Kleinschmidt, yes. Why? Um, I asked on my lunch hour and they said to talk to you. What about? About whether there are any openings on the assembly line. There are always openings, miss. Men get sick, drunk, dead, they run away. Last month one of them went off his nut. He came after me with a wrench, so there are always openings. Why? Uh, I want to know about the possibility of getting a job on the assembly line. For who? For me. For you? Yes. First off, I have enough trouble hanging on to able-bodied men. In the second place, I'm off work now. You said that there were openings. You're wasting my time as well as yours. If I wanted to put you on the line, I couldn't do it. Why not? Because you're a woman. It is no place for a woman. Because it is not the kind of job a woman would do. That is why not. But I can handle it. I'm doing almost the same kind of work now. Huh. I have men on the line, 200 pounds, who will sweat beer for two hours and then fall flat on their face. Yes, but Please. I... Please. I don't make the rules. If you have a complaint, you take it up with the union or the company. This. Why would you want a job on the line? Because it pays more. Hey, I know a way you can make some extra money, sweetie. Nobody was conversing with you. Nobody asked your opinion. Hey, you didn't eat any of your lunch. You all right? Oh, huh? I can't eat. I don't know why. Why? Is you seven months pregnant? Five. Five. Hold on. Five. So I would put some soup. Do I really look that much, Sam? Well, I'm not going to say anything. I have a problem. Anyway, I don't even care if they do find out. That way I could go home like normal, right? I could retire, too. I'll be declared so far. After all, I am married. I got a husband. It's not like I'm like some of these. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. I know. I got the car if it does still on night. I could give you a ride home. No, thanks. I'm going to go to the union hall. Again? Yeah, I figure if I keep going, sooner or later they'll have to talk to me about it. I guess so. Only... What? Only what? What? Huh? No. Mrs. Lissy, do you realize what you'd be doing if you were to take a job on the assembly line? Well, you'd be undercutting every man in the plant. They've got bills, too. You know, wives and children to feed. Well, so do I. I have a daughter. <laughs> Let me try to explain it to you again. This is not a hiring hall. And what you're asking for is not up to the union. It's a management policy. But you can make them change that. Well, in time, perhaps. Why not now? It's not that I'm not in sympathy with your problem. Is it? Well, my hands are tied. There just isn't anything I can do. Hey, maybe you should go and talk to somebody from the company. I did. There you see. It's, uh, I uh, do have an important call coming in from Washington. I must take it now. 
Oh, uh, but uh, don't let this stop you from coming here again. You know about some other kind of problem. That's what your local is here for. Mother Aggie, how are you? Oh, she's getting better all the time since she's been in the home. Why, you'd never know she had a stroke, would you? Helen. Hi, Harry. Hi. How are you? Okay. Mm. Come on, come with me. I want to clean up. Sure. Why don't you take her in, Millie? I'll be right there. Begonias. Pretty hard to grow out here, you know. Not like back east. Remember that little open patch around the corner from the mom and pop deli? Well, every spring the wife. Sh oh wait, a no, you don't remember that. No, you were just I too don't. long. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> well, anyway, to grow begonias out here, you gotta have something like this. Oh, it's so nice. You just get it? No, this I put it up last year when I was. Don't you been out here since? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought Millie asked Please, you. Harry, she did. Come on. Hey. hey, wait. Oh, whoa. Don't start running off, you two. I want you to get Grandma's chair, put it in the van for me, right? Right now. Go, go. Kid ass. I'm sorry. So. <sighs> Harry, I want you to know that I know that I owe you, and I haven't forgotten that. I told you. Don't worry about it. Can uh, manage. Yeah, but I. Uh... But I. Wait a minute, I just can't spare nothing more right now. Four kids, nursing home for Millie's mother. I got the house. I swear I there's know. never enough. Harry, that's all right. It's not what I came to talk to you about. Oh, what then? About getting a better job at the plant. Oh. See, I went over all my bills, Harry, and I figure if I can just make 30 more a week, then I can start paying them off, you know, yeah. gradually. And, um, and then maybe Kim and I could start Looking around for a nicer place to live. True, you know? True, I understand. Yeah. Well, wait a minute now. You know, just because I'm an assistant supervisor don't mean I can get your job in the front office. Uh, Besides, I didn't know you could type or I anything. I can't. No, I'm not. I'm talking about a job in the plant. Oh. You're making as much as they pay already. Not in the assembly line, Harry. Oh. They get 90 cents more an hour, Harry. That's $36 That's a... more a week. You... I can do the work, Harry. It's not much harder than the work I'm doing now. And there's lots of women all over the country that are getting the kind of jobs in plants. I see about it on TV. Sure, in Milwaukee or Toledo or women's live places like that, but not in a town like this. And besides, even if I could help you get a job in a line, and I'm not saying I could, you would never last at it. It's not for a woman. It's hard, dirty work. Why else do you think they got to pay guys more for it? You ought to have more respect for yourself than that. Harry, Grandma's ready and the boys don't want to wait around. All right, I'll be right there. You're in management, Harry. I thought that maybe you could just tell me how to go about it, I please. Just... Harry! I said I'm coming! You know, I figured by now you'd be thinking about getting remarried again, maybe. Which I do take out an ad. There are guys. Yeah, there's always guys, Harry. I, you know, I mean one to marry. There was one. I don't need advice, Harry. If that fixed things, then I wouldn't need money. If you can't help me, that's all right. If you don't want to, I guess that's all right, too. It's not a question of do I want, all right? Look, maybe I could scrape a No, little I don't want to keep borrowing from you, Harry. That's not going to solve anything. You think working down on a pit line just like a man would? All right, you go ahead. You do it. Maybe you'll find out. I remember what happened when a black guy made them hire him on the line. There's lots of them there. Not then there wasn't. First black guy, I mean. I know. I know, but I've been waiting for my break for just one puff. You should hear him down at the clinic. Did you smoke this week? Did you drink this week? Did you 
other stuff. Did you? Yeah. Never again. How do you think I got like this, huh? It's almost like going to confession. You going up to that first mail office again? Yep. Wish you luck. Sure. That's what you really want. If I started telling you what I really want. Yes, I know that, dear. But if she's already taking ballet lessons, why does she need lessons in charm? Yes, I know they get bored in summer. If you think it's important, I'll write out the check tonight. Yes, all right. Sorry about the interruption. You know how children are, always something. Yes. About the transfer? Yes. You said you'd consider if I'd come back. Well, yes, I have, of course. But there are problems. This is the sick. The um, lack of proper restrooms, the wives of the other men on the line, the way the men talk down there on the line, their language. And there's always the problem of certain tensions women have at certain times. I know my wife does. And we have enough problems now with the men on the line sabotaging units out of spite or whatever. So you see, it's, it's more than technically a matter of whether there are jobs or not. No, I don't see, Mr. Blake. I need that job. It pays more. Only a little. Not to me. I know there's a job on the production line, Mr. Blake, and I know I can do it. And I promise I'll work twice as hard to prove I can do it. What more do I have to do? Isn't there a law? I hope you're not talking about suing. I don't think it'd be necessary to do anything like that. Miss Simmons? Would you please fill out the necessary transfer forms for Mrs. Lissick and see they're distributed to the proper department? You mean I got the job? You understand. This is probationary. You have to fill the same production quota as any other worker. Yes, sir, I understand. Thank you, Mr. Frank. Just do what I told you. Two, one, 
Good. Now, change your burn. I'm doing it. But you're not doing it right. Not the way you're supposed to. you got to keep counting. you got to count so you're on time. Yeah. This block comes through yeah. before you change your burr. Like oh. him! Billy boy, you're smoking on the line again. I told you about Jim, would you shut your mouth and start sorting those parts? You ain't being paid to catch flies. All right, I'll do that right now. Just keep back with me. I never thought that little thing was going to last this long, you. Yeah. Maybe. 
taking bets, she won't last through the whole week. Got any takers? Man, I wouldn't bet you how many fingers I got on my hand. Anyway, Jive, that he my rambling, gambling man. He does right, Jive. Y'all remember that big old fat boy? Well, I reckon that's where y'all got here. Anyway, about an hour after lunch, he started puking on himself. It's right there on the line. And he just uh, keeled over. I remember that, too. What they did then was pour water on him and float him out like a big whaler. What's up? <laughs> just... Well, now that's big and that's big fat. That's different. Last team I tried out for, semi-pro, that was this skinny white boy. I mean, he that big around, no lie. I could have pulled him sideways like a rubber band. Anyway, he outran me and everybody else right in the ground. What you think, Jai? She gonna make it? Vince, he's big and dumb like you and short and dumb like him. Squat, you mean? He ain't that short, baby. But if he ain't that dumb, what's he doing here with the rest of us? All I'm saying, I ain't just so sure she's not gonna make it. Well, Billy boy there, he's closest to her. Maybe you ought to do something like speed up the line on her or something. Sure, get my tail put through the ringer by Klein Schmidt. No, thank you. Anyway, she ain't hurt nothing. The hell she ain't. If she stays on that line, then pretty soon the company's gonna hire all women for less money. Look, I've seen the same thing happen down home in the textile mill. Next thing you know, there ain't no men working, just women and... You know what I mean. Niggas. I was gonna say color. Yeah, sure you were. Yeah, but you weren't gonna say that to me. Was you cracking? Hey, come on. Anyway, you getting so uppity about jive? Think you're different? Plenty of little black gals take your job quick enough for less. That's what the union's there to take care of. Oh, the union. Yeah. <laughs> Back on the line! You got one minute! Cleaned up real nice. Maybe get a tip. That's it! Leave it alone, get back in the line. Turkle, you clean it up, you're on first relief. I didn't throw nothing. I don't care, just clean it up.
number 40. Look at it. The nap is going the wrong way. Can't you see that? I didn't know that. But you're supposed to. But I just took it from the bin here with the others. I didn't put it there. Hey, supervisor. Because we got a bad drill, Burr. Burr? Look at that wastage. A whole unit lost. You got more sabotage here, Fleinschmidt? How am I supposed to know that, Mr. Rollings? It's your line. Then if it is my line, I'm going to run it. Hey, don't get hot under the collar, Fleinschmidt. Whose station is this? Oh. Well, you better put her on report then. Why? I told you we had a bad drill burn. Mr. Kleinschmidt, maybe I know something about policy upstairs that you don't happen to know. Maybe you do, Mr. Rawlings, but you don't know a damn thing about the line. Now you look at what I got. I got booze heads, Benny heads. Now I got women. If I put them on report every time something gets busted, pretty soon you're going to have so much sabotage here, there'll be nothing coming off the line. So I got a rule. No reports the first time. This is an exception, Blindman. There are no exceptions on my line, Mr. Rawlings. That is exactly why you will never be a supervisor. That's why I don't wish to be a supervisor. Hey, Klein Smith, you can't put her on report. It wasn't her fault. I don't need advice from you. Don't let it happen again or you are out. You understand me? Say it. Yes, I understand you. Start the line. You just don't quit if it's that hard. Not that hard. It's just different from what I've been doing. Instead of going like this all day, going like this. I know what you mean, just exactly. You know, what I started out to be was a certified cosmetologist. I went to a regular school for it and the whole thing. Well, you know, the first day, you wouldn't believe it, my fingers, they, they were just like this. Like this, and I couldn't even straighten them out at night. But, you know, after a while, it was all right. You liked doing here, didn't you? Yeah. Why didn't you stay with it? Oh, well, I met Doug. I guess I figure you get married, you don't have to work. <laughs> My baby. <laughs> <laughs> I bet I could do something with your hair. You know, kind of, kind of maybe like swirl it up in the back, a little bit like mine. Give you a little height, you know? Make you look a little delicate and frilly. What I want to do that for on the assembly line. You see, that's exactly what I mean. I mean, you're there. You're there with all those men. I mean, don't you feel a little, you know, kind of funny? I mean, no offense, hon, but I know that I would. I mean, you know, all those men, I... I really gotta go now. I gotta fix Doug something for his oh. dinner break. You know how he hates just sandwiches when he works at night. This is K Dot Radio. Five thousand channel. Well, what do you think? about what I was telling her. And you see the way she's always watching, right? Yeah, sure. Yes, I mean, she, she ain't said nothing to me yet. You're the man, right? I'm gonna make the first move. Okay, 
Archie. Wait a minute. Right now, you gotta wait for just the right moment. Megan, leave. Oh, when? Well, when should I be there? I'll let you know. Okay. And you're gonna let me know, right? Gonna make it. Yes, I am. I have to. Kim, aren't you gonna show me? Honey, come on. What's the matter? What? Why don't you take that thing off? Cause it's all wrong. See? Still way too loose. It's supposed to be skin tight. Who says that, your friend Lori? Everybody knows that. Just exactly what are you trying to show off? I'm sorry, sweetheart. Listen, baby cakes. For years I was flatter than an iron and board. You were? You bet. Then what? When I was a year older than you, the padded wonder. Oh, wow. Yeah? I you did. Didn't. I did. With what? Toilet paper. Really? <laughs> yeah. And every once in a while, one of them would slip in class or at a dance. Oh, how awful. Didn't they have any real padding back then? You mean in the olden days? Yeah, well, uh, those foam rubber thingies came in. But they used to slip, too. And then, suddenly, I developed. And now, everything I have is real. I'm sorry about the fit, honey. Come here, let me, let me see. Maybe I can take it in for you. Maybe I can buy you a brand new one, huh? When? As soon as I finish paying for the car. Maybe I should ask Daddy. He could have sent me one. Like the trampoline? I'm sorry, sweetheart. Come on, take that thing off. I'll fix it for you. Hey, hey. how's it going? Great. You come pick it up today? No, but I will next week when I get paid Monday. Uh, I guess that's all right. After that, I got to start adding storage charges. It's the rules. Rules, rules, rules. How you doing? Great. I almost made it through the week. What for? What? I mean, why do you want to work the line? Same reason as you. Me? Well, you think I like doing this? I'm <laughs> sorry, but no, no, no way. I'd be back outside like that if I could. Hey, look, I got a little extra lunch. That's what you'd like. No, I, I got my own. All right. Where's that place? Is that place outside? Oh, oh, uh... Well, it's just in the country, like. A place where a lot of people sort of work together doing a lot of different things. You mean like a commune? Yeah, yeah, I guess, I guess. Uh, but, you know, when you say that word, people immediately think it's full of freaks and dopers and things like that. But it was. It was real nice. Come on, sit down. Yeah, sure. Well, like I was saying, it was, it was just real nice. Kind of, kind of nestled back in the mountains, like. And we lived there until... Until the old lady lit up the oven, and after that, it just didn't seem to work uh, with the kid and another one on the way, you know. But it's not that I'm complaining. <laughs> hell, I wasn't much good until I met her anyway. I was just, you know, riding around, boozing, raising all sorts of general hell. No, I, I got no complaints. But when you start having kids, 
Phew. I mean, things change. I mean, there's just always something to buy. That's what I meant. Same reason as you. From money. Yeah, I guess so. Ah! Back to coal mines. Hey, Alan. Keep your chin up, huh? It's Friday. Right. All right. Uh, hey, man. Hey, man. Now, what you trying to pull there? You're only allowed one random check. That's the job to it. You put that watch on the man, and I'm calling the shop to it. Do it, hell. Here comes your fear. they'll try to pull a speed up. Next time, bust up the unit. There's only way you can get back at it. Well, thanks anyway. For nothing. They wouldn't be trying to get away with stuff for one for you. ought to get back the way they was. You and me, you know? But you're the one who hadn't called me or asked me out. Why? Well, I do have a certain amount of pride, in case you hadn't realized. And, well, you know what the guys at the plant are no, saying about you. No, I don't, and I don't care what they've been saying. Well, maybe I do. Well, then don't call me anymore or ask me out, okay? Well, you can bet I won't. I'll try to help, but that's your attitude. Okay, just forget it. And I'll tell you something else. You want to go out with me, you do the calling. Saturday, I got breakfast for you. What's the matter? Don't you want breakfast? Sure. What's the matter? Oh, your friend Lori's gone. Yeah. Her father got the job. They called him or something. Well, maybe she'll write to you. I don't care. It's not that. What? What is it then? Her father. 
He was going to take me and Lori to the gymnastics trials tomorrow. Now we won't get to go. Well, I can take you. No, you can't. It's the boys' club. You've got to have a male sponsor. You know, like a father. It's a rule. Why didn't you tell me that? Huh? I don't know. I just didn't. Well, I can ask Uncle Harry to take you. I can ask Randy. I'd rather have Daddy, can't he? How? Get all those postcards from him from places? No, they're not. Just because the postmarks are smudged up, I could still tell. Well, maybe that's the post office. No, he's somewhere around. You could call him. No, I can't. Even if I could, I don't know where to find him. What about her, his new wife? Maybe you could call her. No, I can't do that, Kim. All right, don't then. Now, you listen to me. You gotta face this. We both do. It's just us, and that's it. And we have to do the best we can. I know. It's okay. Hi, 
she tell you I was here? No, it was her sister. I think. It's just a weekend. It's just to fill in, Ellie. I mean, there's not much money. There's a lot of free stuff, junk uh, from the boots, but there's no, no money. I mean, there's hardly no, any money. No, I didn't come about that, Ed. It's about Kim. Kimmy? Something happened to no, her? No, no, nothing like that. It's she wants to try out for this gymnastics team tomorrow, and they won't let me take her. They won't let mothers. So, could you, Ed? Huh? Yeah, I guess. Except, uh, all those cards I sent her from Vegas, Dallas, she thinks I'm places like that, don't she? Yeah. But you could tell her that you flew back, huh? I, I don't think so. The way things are, I, I mean, now, I got real good prospect. And in a month, what? It's not in a month, it's tomorrow. I can, Ellie. You know how I am. Coming back empty-handed is something that I never did. Remember? Remember that beauty contest I worked in Buffalo? You remember that? Remember that harem outfit I brought back? Little Kimmy? You remember that? The little veil and, and, and little high heels? The whole work, she wasn't that high. What'd I bring you back? Diamond watch. A diamond watch. What'd you do with it? I tried to hock it. Oh, yeah. I guess the diamonds wasn't real. I forgot. But I wanted them to be. I wanted... Ellie, if you just wait till things come around for me. It's all gonna be different. Everything's gonna be different. What's your watch? What's your holster? Uh, I'm not sure I can stay the whole time, okay? Uh, Ginny and I won't be gone long. If you need me, you can call the trailer office, okay? Leave a message. It's okay. I can get a bus home. Thanks for doing this. Like I said, all you have to do is call. Promise is a promise, right? Right? Right. Good luck, baby. So, all you got to do is whistle, huh? huh? Very nice, you girl. You're up, Wendy. You try out last year? No. I did, but my dad's been helping me, so maybe I'll make it this year. Hey, somebody's over there for you. Kim, I'm gonna have to leave now. Okay, I got a couple things I gotta do, okay? Hi. Is that your dad? Yeah. No, it wasn't. How do you know? Everybody knows about your mother. Knows what? Her mother's with all kinds of men. She works with them and she probably goes to the bathroom with them. And all kinds of things like that. That's what my mother says. What are you talking about? Well, it's true, isn't it? You probably don't even know which one is your father. Shut up! No, I won't! It's true! Everybody knows it! Shut up! No! Shut up! Let's go! Shut up! Excuse me, I'm trying to find my daughter. Her name is Lissick, Kimberly Lissick. I don't care about that. I told you, really. Don't you understand? Are you serious with me? I told you, I cannot sign that. I'm not lying to you. Is she all right? She's all right. She's got a couple of... 
Mm-hmm. Our face. Can I She's see got her? a little cut I'd right. like to see her. Are you the girl's mother? Yes. Uh, you'll have to sign this financial responsibility form before we can release her. But can I see her first? Just, just sign, sign, sign it, it please. Sign. At the bottom. What happened? Well, she just got Where a little... Where is she? What happened? She, she just got in a little fight. She's How all... could you let that happen? Yet? Me? I'll tell you. Quiet and tell me where she is. Tell you she got beat up. It's your fault. Where? She's right over here. Hi, Mom. What happened to you? I'll tell you what happened. It's because you were working in that job and acting like a man. Of course the kids are going to tease her about and pick on her. I don't know what else you expect. And I'll tell you something else, I don't like it either. You go out with a woman, you expect her to act like a woman, like some kind of a freak or something. Is that what you think? Yeah, that's what I think. And I'll tell you something else. You're going to quit that job right here and right now. Or we're through. All right. <laughs> what the hell does that mean? All right. What does that mean? It means she don't need you anymore. Right? Is that what that means? Yes. It's okay. The stitches didn't hurt. Only when they stuck the needle in. I'm so sorry this happened to you. But you understand, don't you? No. Why do you have to work at a job like that so people say things about you? The only job that I can get enough money on for us. Well, I don't care. Can't you quit it? No. Why not? What? Kim. Listen, you fought back. Maybe next time they won't pick on you about me. Or maybe next time, they'll pick on me twice as much about it. Then we're gonna have to learn to fight back twice as hard, aren't we? No, it wasn't. 
Now you clear out. Go back where you no, belong. Just wait a second, okay? Let hey! me explain. You didn't hear me or what? Oh, I heard you, right? I heard you. What happened? Why is this mine shut down again, Klein Schmidt? What the hell happened? How'd it happen? I'm sick and tired of sabotage on this line. Which one of you was back here? Who was it? I was. You couldn't do all that by yourself. I want to know what happened. Well? I slept. Oh, don't hit me. You're all the same down here, aren't you? Somebody pulls something like this right away, you're all sticking together. Okay. That's the way you want it, that's the way you're going to get it. I am going to file to dock you all a day's DLO. Unless I find out who is responsible for this. Well? You know. And I know you do. You see? That's what happens keeping a woman on the line. And that is your fault, Kleinschmidt. If you had put her on report before, we could fire her now. What? For that. And don't think that you're not involved, Kleinschmidt. I could suspend you. Can't do that. He didn't do anything. Listen. Stay out of this. And are you going to suspend me? Mr. Rollins? Hmm? Get your line moving, Kleinschmidt. Everybody here goes on report. Oh, man. Report? All right, now, wait a minute. You wait a minute. I don't care who started it. And I don't care why. Everybody here is going on the court. Next time, there won't be no next time. Now get back on the line. said so, that's why. Uh, well, you wanted to line, man. I guess you're going to get it. All of it. <laughs> okay, next man. The sooner you get your dues check off certified, the sooner you're going to get your money. The sooner the union's going to take it from us, you mean. It was a loud mouth. Hey, you don't like it here. Go work in a sweatshop. Oh, come on, man. What do you think this is, a health club? All right, come on, next man. Cooper. Check off on Cooper. Next man. Let's see. I know. Get any complaints, listen? You sure? I heard you had a little trouble on the bird drill. No. Check off on Lissick. Okay. Well, Purvis, move it. You want some action, you get on your own time. Hey, lay off her. You don't work on the line, so why don't you keep your cruddy mouth out of it? Oh, yeah? Who says so? Yeah, well, maybe I'll see it, huh? Because I work the line, man, and you don't. So I wouldn't mess with this. No, he 
we went off to the nursery right after dinner. But he ought to be getting back pretty quick. Why don't you come on inside and wait? No, thanks, Millie. No, thanks just the same. Well, if there's anything you want me to tell him. Uh -uh. Is it about your job at the factory? Well, you know, I don't listen to what people say, but of course I can't help overhearing them. Well, I don't think it's right either. I mean, working with men like that, you know, the words they use, talking dirty. They don't, Millie. Nobody talks much at all. All the same. You're a woman and, and they're still men. You know what I mean? There isn't any of that either, Millie. What if you got married again? And suppose you couldn't have any more children because you've been doing a man's job. I mean, God didn't mean for a woman to do that kind of hard work. Millie, it isn't any harder than some of the jobs that you've done. Me? I don't know wherever you got an idea like that. Harry wouldn't stand for it. I never worked at a job. Yes, you have. You just didn't get paid money for it. Mom, will you move your laundry baskets in my way? Here he comes now. I didn't know you were here. What's this? I'm hoping you'll tell me. What it means is they're going to make you meet the rule. You get a week to break in, then they can test you if they want to. But I warned you. I know. Can you handle the other jobs on the line? I don't know. Well, there's no way I can help you do that. If you can't make it, that's it. I'm sorry. Helen, look. They're giving you a chance to go back to your old job. I mean, take it and give up. No. Plane grinder next. Turco. Now you can time and check all you want, because that's your job. But you don't move anybody off of this line, because that's mine. Okay. Turco, relief. Helping her, showing her what to do. Yeah, well, just keep your mouth shut about it. Oh, I ain't gonna say nothing. I don't need nobody showing me what to do. Give me lessons.
right, it's over tower. Stop the line! All the line! Can't pass you on this. It's not acceptable. The plane isn't even. Yeah, well, I'll come out that way. You want an even plane, get a machine, and won't lose the tolerance. You're supposed to hold the block in place till the planing disc grinds over. There's a time and motion allowance for that. Now, you say. Now, let me tell you. You ain't paying me enough to have my fingers chewed off. There ain't no way. The figures have been put into a computer. There's ample time to hold the block in place without danger. Then you do it if you're so sure. Go ahead. Stick your hand in there. But I ain't gonna do it. I'm gonna scribble something down on that paper, try to get me fired, you just go right ahead. If you're finished, can we get back to work now? There's still the stacking operation. What you talking about, man? There ain't nobody here can do this job steady a whole day long except me. It's not a question of the whole day long. This is a time and motion competency profile. You say? Yeah. Wait a minute. She can't use that. But they all got to use it on relief. I don't know anything about that, but it's not allowed in the time and motion profile. Uh, what's going on here? What's wrong? Well, it's about this step here. I can't allow her to use it in this operation. It's not in the job profile. Hey, what's the big deal? I mean, what difference does it make what you step on as long as you get the job done? That's not your concern. Besides, there's undoubtedly an insurance question involved. You can take your insurance and stop it. I mean, y'all don't care if we get our hands cut off in that plane grinder. Now you're fussing about a little thing like insurance. Where's the shop steward? Hey, Parvis! Right over there, stuff. Parvis, get your butt over here and start earning your pay. What is this? What's it all about? Right there. That little old step is still right there. They're saying that. We can't use that step when we're doing burdens relief. Would you please explain to your men that if it's not specified in the contract, then job performance is management prerogative. Right. What do you want from me? I don't own the company. Uh, just a minute. This seems uh, perfectly simple. Can you do without this step? Yeah. Can you watch me? Because if I can do it, that means someone like me can do it. Can't get back to the line. Start it up. Go on. Lousy crowd head crud. He's just trying to make everybody look bad. No. It's so she can see how he does it. Watch it. Classic. Under, not a quarter. All right, all right. So whatever. This is the time of motion test. It has to be running full. Bring it up, six links. Yeah. 
Thank you. Burden, take over here. What about me? You get back on the bird drill. Hold it! Nobody decided the test was over. I did. Well, you're wrong. It's not. Get the line moving! Line, I said. Perks! You're the shop steward. Get your people back to work. Hey, take it easy. We could have a wildcat strike here if you're not careful. Don't you guys make trouble for me! Rawling, sir. Well, yes, sir, I am. Well, there's trouble here, sir. Yes, sir, it has to do with listening. Well, sir, this. Yes, sir. <laughs> sir. Yeah. Sir. Kleinsman. You can get your men back to work. Go ahead. Do they work where I say? Yeah. Just get the line moving. Burden, take over here. Right. Lissick! I told you to get out of Birdville. Never get it. Me either. For a while. Well, this is all yours again. Hi. Hi. Um, I wanted to ask you. I heard there's an opening on the assembly line, and I was just wondering if, well, you know, if there's a chance I'd get put on there like you. I don't know, but I'll talk to the foreman if you want. Would you? Sure. Thanks. Uh, do you think there's a chance? If you can do the job, why not? Right? You want to live? No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs>